you and Jada, y'all have known each other. You say you were 19? 19, 8, 17. Eight, eight. I known Jada since I was in college. I was 18. I met mm-hmm. her backstage in Living Color. Really, though? Yeah, we just became like like best friends. Hey, like, man. We used to call each other every night. We sometimes fall asleep on the phone and we used to talk about, you know, people we was dating. And she taught me so much about like love. She yeah, was and so you put smart. that in yes. there, bro. Nobody Did you was really too big meet to Will Smith like that at Jada's house? Yeah. <gasps> Yeah. Man, so these ain't just jokes. Big boy, big, big boy. boy. <laughs> ah, yeah, Marlon Wayans is back in the neighborhood, man. For What's those happening? out there, Marlon, you just stopped by. You know what I'm saying? So now this is Big Boy Reacts to Marlon Wayans' new special, which is God nice. Loves Me. This is right there on HBO Max. I didn't get a chance I want to you check know, it out. I drove. Yes, talk to me. I was staying all the way in Brea. Yes. And you called me. Yes. <laughs> and I drove all the way down. Yes. To come sit here. Yes. Not to gloat. Right. Well, I just want to see if you hated it to my face. Um, <laughs> and also, I want you to know I show up because I say I yeah, do, do. And I've been getting this yeah. reputation that I don't when, hey, I, man. when I got receipts. <laughs> so here's another receipt. So basically, this is a receipt. Hey, man, let me tell you. <laughs> I have never heard someone saying you don't show up. Thank you. you show up early. If anybody's going to say yeah. show up, they got to put dot, dot, dot that you mm. show up early. Now, and I love that you drove wow. all the way back no, in. You don't care about traffic. You nah. don't care that I got I up. do. My breath still stinks because I, I didn't even wash this morning. I was about to tell you, man. <laughs> I put cologne on. Like, I was about oh, to tell you. I didn't watch God Loves Me before we had the interview, yes. right? And I would have just said, you know what, Big? Well, it's your fault. I'm not coming back. Yes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Forget you, your reaction video, yeah. all oh. that. But, but thank God I'm different. Yeah. I came all the way back because I like to gloat. Yeah, I like to sit in people's face when they doubt me. I didn't doubt you. Oh, big boy, you didn't see it. <laughs> and that, that's not I doubt. doubt I bet you saw Kevin Hart special before he sat down. I bet you saw Chris Rock special. I bet you you saw Dave special before they sat down. I bet you you did. No, I didn't. I bet you saw Carrot Top special before he sat down. <laughs> that is true. You got me. <laughs> you got me. Big boy reacts to the new Marlon Wayans uh, stand up special, man. So God loves me. Let me tell you, bro. I couldn't wait for it to be over so I could text you <laughs> to tell you or call you. That's why I was even texting while it was going on. I was just like, bro, this is genius. Oh, this is amazing. You. And I even told the team in the neighborhood, I said, man, that was a career fail. And remember yeah. I told you, I said, man, I don't even want to watch the interview for when he came in because I didn't watch the special. And right. that special was special. Thank you, brother. That special, like Chris Rock should have did your special. <laughs> <laughs> no, no disrespect. I, I would have gave it to him too. Yeah, I'm man. like, yeah, Chris, have that. Hey, bro, but even sitting down and watching it, right? But I don't think Chris could have did it. No, nah, not like that. No. Yeah. He was still suffering. Like, he was part concussed when right. he did his special a year later. He said part concussed. Will hit him yeah. so hard that it made it made me think about my life. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hold on, something ain't right here. I was like, man, I don't even do stand up, but I still was like, man. <laughs> but you put together, bro, a show, and when like like with, with Chris, Chris, and this is not comparing, but Chris did a ten minute where he went in. You Chris did was 59 too, minutes because Chris was too yeah. close to it. Right. It felt like they just broke up the fight. It right. felt like, because when you delay your reaction, and I felt bad. Like It was like watching two kids that I knew fight in the playground. Mm. And one was a bully that was having a bad day at home, and he hit the other kid, and the other kid was like, what I do? He didn't really do nothing to deserve that, but when they broke up the fight, you yo, you, go, you hit me with the smallest one. And he started, it, it, I felt bad for Chris at the last 10 minutes of his show, because that, that was hurt. And Amen. I know Will had to feel bad about hurting him. Amen. Why the title? And, and now that I've watched it, I know what the title of God <laughs> <Yeah>. Loves <laughs> yeah. Me, what that really means. So can you just... Uh, li- li- Chris has always been like a mean stepbrother to me. Mm-hmm. You know, we got the same mama, but different daddies. And my daddy actually comes and takes me to the park and sends child support. <laughs> and that nigga daddy just leave him on the stoop. And, so he hates me. It, it, we had that kind of relationship. And so you're saying that you had that kind of relationship. I've known Chris since I was 10. I've known Eddie That's Murphy crazy. since I was 8. Right. I grew up, my brother is Keenan Ivory Wayans. Yes, sir. My mm-hmm. other brother is Damon Wayans. Yes, sir. I grew up in Hollywood around 
great around legends. Uh, Robert Townsend mm -hmm. is like a big brother to me. Uh, Eddie Murphy is like a big brother to me. Eddie Murphy came to my project. Chris Rock. I've known Chris Rock when him and Sean used to do stand up together when but, they was first starting out doing stand up at the uh, at the the comic the comic strip. On um on the east side of New York, and they used to walk there. I've known Chris a long time, but it has, has it always been? You know how you can look back and say, "Man, it's been glory years." Because when I watch God Loves Me, there's parts that I watched, and I was like, "Okay, when I'm gonna get you, sucker." The Chris, mm -hmm. the Chris Rock, man, just give me one reel, yeah, just one reel. My brother promised me that part. That's it. My bro, that was the part. It wasn't. It was the part in the movie, and Keenan was like, "And this is from I won't get you yes, sucker, which is a Chris movie that a, was huge." For Chris, Keenan promised me that part, right? But Chris had that bit, right? It was mm -hmm. a great bit. Let me get one rip, and let me get one. He had something in his act, yeah. And Keenan was like, "That's a good opportunity. That's a good opportunity for Chris to come in and 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 and, and go knock it out the park." But I had prepared to do the rip. It with. was your part, and but Chris. Was working doing stand up and see, rightfully so. Keenan gave Chris the part because that man was ready for it. I had never done stand up. I never did anything professional. How old are you around that time? Twelve. Said, okay. <laughs> I was twelve. Damn. I read the I'm a, the yeah. script to I'ma get you sucker when I was eleven years old on a pissy <laughs> mattress in the projects with no sheet on it. Me and Sean, we read it page by page and we laughed so hard and you know, I remember that's the day I couldn't believe my brother wrote that. Mm -hmm. I'm reading stuff and I'm laughing and I'm crying, laughing. Me and Sean, we like, oh, let's read that again. And we hated reading because we went to public school. Right. <laughs> but that's the day I wanted to be a writer. But me and Sean, we put dibs. We was like, oh, I want to play this role. I want to play. And Keenan, Sean was like, I'm going out there for the whole summer because he was like 14, looking right. 16. He was out for the whole summer and I, I came out on the tail end. So... Sean was, if you look at I'm going to get sucker, Sean's in like six or seven scenes because he was there the whole summer. I was supposed to do this part, the rib man, but I was stuck in school. So I couldn't go. Right. And I couldn't do it. And so Keenan gave him that part. And that, to Chris, Chris don't notice, right. but it, it hurt me. <laughs> right. And I would, but see, everything that hurts you in your life, it don't mean it's bad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the things that hurt you in your life is actually good. That's why I say trust God. Did Chris really rub that in your face that he got no, that part? Not that one. Okay. Not that one. But Chris, Chris, Chris is like, Chris is funny, man. Like Chris ain't mean, but he could be if you don't know him. He's right. just he awkward. You know what I mean? He'll just say mean stuff. Like when I did senseless. <laughs> Every time I saw Chris, he was like, hey, Mama Wayans. Check ass. <laughs> Marlon Wayne, he a damn fool. Like, I'm like, Marlon Wayne, he ain't got no damn sense. Every time I seen him, he had something to say. And Chris was blowing up, so I couldn't say anything back until one day I was like, hey, Chris Rock, pooty tang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. And then on March That's the 20th. first time I, I jabbed him, and he was like, whoa, yeah. you, you got jokes, little Negro? <laughs> and then on March 27th, 2022, at approximately... 10.32 p.m. Eastern. Eastern Standard Time, right. yeah. which is 7.32 Pacific. 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 Yes. Yeah. Um, that so when good. Chris Rock got up and, um, and and cracked a joke on Jada Pickett Smith and Will Smith got up and slapped the hell out of one of the greatest comedians of all time. Yeah. And I realized then that that had nothing to do with Chris. That had nothing to do with Jada. Had nothing to do with Will. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, why would Will Smith, the biggest star in the world, slap one of the greatest comedians over that joke? <laughs> what did you gather? God loves, loves. me. <laughs> <laughs> that was my revenge. Yeah. God heard me. God heard when me. When you said God was like, no, I got this. I got this. <laughs> Vengeance, Vengeance is, is mine. mine. And it wasn't one time. Say it the Lord. Chris, done, Chris, over the years, like three or four times, he always had something smart to say. And I, and I want to say this. I love Chris. Right. I love the Rock family. Hey, man, and you can and, and see that in the special. I love mm -hmm. them. I love them. T and I swear to you, when Chris hit Will, there's a part of me that wanted to jump in and fight Will because I was like, come on. But I love Will, too. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, you know, Rock, I grew up with. And I just thought that was, like, unfair and it was, wasn't was cool. And I just hit it from three different ways. Yeah. I personally felt something because I was close to it. I know all three of them. I just did Bel Air. For yeah, Will. Yeah. He called me up, was like, yo, he texted me, was like, or hit me, was like, yo, I got this part. I'm I can't be able to can't do it, but I think it'd be great for you. And then after I did it, he was like, Bro, I didn't know you had that much horsepower under your hood. He was like, 
the complexions, the complexities, the pain. Mm-hmm. He's like, that was beautiful work. And I was like, thank you, bro. And, you know, I'm sorry, but I had to tell this story. Yeah, you did, now, bro. I, like I said, I know he's going to replace me <laughs> right. with someone light skin. When y'all see Terrence Howard as yeah. Luke, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, yeah, so what's going on? El DeBarge as Luke. Wow. <laughs> he always replaced the, the, with someone light, lighter, <laughs> lighter, like Aunt Viv, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, oh be nice. <laughs> hey, Megan, what's going on, Will, man? I can't believe you, man. This one right here threw me for a loop, bro. Man, every young comedian will grab the microphone stand yeah. and he'll grab it like a security blanket and he'll look down and at the floor this because is him explaining when he first got into yeah. comedy what the bomb felt like and also being being heck man every young comedian will grab the microphone stand and he'll grab it like a security blanket and he'll look down at the floor because he forgot his entire set mm. and he'll nervously say um <laughs> what else is funny <laughs> <laughs> I made the mistake of saying that mm-hmm. shit at the Laugh Factory when I was 19 years old, and all I hear is, I don't know, nigga. <laughs> you supposed to be the fucking comedian. Why don't you tell us what the fuck is funny, nigga? Hey, man. The man. How much is that? There's truth to that for real. The man, I remember he had a white shirt on, oh my similar Lord. to the one he wore on this last special. This man, I remember he was just coming to work out. He seen me on the stage, and he, the, I didn't know who it was. All I saw was like these yellow eyes. And I, I saw a blur. I thought it was one of the Fat Albert kids or something. <laughs> and then, yeah, he just laid into me. Come on, man, with the jokes. How about some jokes? And he just kept heckling me. And he don't know that I quit stand up for mm-hmm. twenty years because this of that. man sat there at the front of the stage. And heckled me my entire set. Come on, nigga, where the jokes at? I thought you were supposed to be the Wayans. Which one are you, Tito? Oh, that's right, you Marlin. This nigga sat there and literally demolished me. I bombed that night. I quit stand up. I swear to God, I quit stand-up comedy for 20 years. I was that broken. Damn, Marlon. Mm, and you know it's a trip years. because when you but got on the, the stage, ego, right? Really? That's the ego, right? So my ego was broken. Mm-hmm. And that was God's timing. Me stopping gave me fresh legs when I went back. And if I allow, this is like a lesson for not just me, but for anybody. Anybody watches this special, everything I'm going through, my journey is like biblical because it's a story that you can learn from. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to go through these kind of obstacles, things that make you want to turn back, things that make you want to quit. God's not trying to make you quit. God's trying to make you overcome an obstacle. Mm -hmm. Put my ego aside and get back on stage to be driven. I'm grateful that Chris heckled me. Right. I wasn't grateful in the moment. Gotcha. Oh, I prayed bad things. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Pootie Tang, I prayed for that man. Yeah. <laughs> he don't know where that came from. That, yeah. was, that was the work of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God I had Juju you. B's, chicken blood, <laughs> rabbit's foots. I was, <laughs> I was, but I, I really, I, 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 I seriously, I look back on the journey. I'm grateful to Chris because sometimes Chris was probably heckled by Eddie Murphy. Right. Like hey, that's man. what the, the camaraderie when you just, and the fraternity we in. When you're that young and you're working out, man, and, and that stage is a lonely place to be, bro. Yeah. You know, and especially when you were doing it, it wasn't like, oh, I just, you know, I, I did something on YouTube or I went viral and people are coming out. That's like when people were really working out and yeah. that's a lonely world, man. Did you hate Chris Rock? At no. that moment, oh okay. No, I didn't. Yeah, you different than me because I, I, I would have definitely. I'm, mm-hmm. Because I, and part of me, I got older brothers. Right, right. So I know what he was doing was hard love. My brothers, maybe my brothers would never heckle me. Damon would. Right, 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 right. Damon, would, come on, ugly. That's all you got. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna switch families. Right. Da- Damon would because Damon comes from the old school of comedy, but he would still. But I would trans translate it as love. Mm-hmm. With Chris, it was like I didn't. He was. He was. He just did his big, bigger. He was about to do the the big stand up that he did big ass jokes, which was huge. Then he was about to do bigger and blacker or whatever that was and, and, and to catapult him into greatness. And all I could think was, wow, I I, I didn't have no comebacks. There was nothing I could say. I just was broken, and I just I quit stand up. 
And my brothers would be like, get on stage. And I was like, nah, I'm, I'm going to write movies and I'm going yeah. to do, do acting. And Did you ever I'm, put Chris in any of your great movies? I asked him. He said no. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh. I ain't gonna work. I ain't working with you since. <laughs> right. No, but Chris always always big up me on my. Nah, acting. he's a good dude. too. He though. always big up me on my acting. You know, Chris has his way of. You just gotta interpret. It's like that's how you know. Like when he cracked that joke on Jada, that's an easy joke. Right. That's not a Chris Rock. That was a light joke. That yeah, was and, that was a kiss on the cheek. And he kind of said it that night when he was. He almost said, "I could have said." And yeah. he caught himself. Yeah. Yeah. He did. And that was respectful. Hey, man, when you do the difference in God Loves Me between the white people watching the slap yes. and the black people, yes. Martin, <laughs> on God, bro, I rewound that part again last night. If I didn't rewind that six times, I didn't watch none of it. I'm telling you, Marlon. Bro, we, and, and and I don't. Now that I've seen it, I don't yeah. want to take away yeah. people's, you know, sitting down watching it for the first time if they didn't. Yeah. But when you broke down the white people with the oh my god, Willard, honey, you know, <laughs> that's a felony. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, All white people went straight to logistics. That's, that's a yeah. Call my lawyer. Hey, man, get him on the phone. Get Chris Rock on the, the phone with my lawyer. when the kids came down, you're like, oh, the kids? Oh, oh, did they eat dinner? And then the wife was even like, oh, that's a felony. Yeah. Yeah. Or when you was like, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a felony. Yeah, that's a felony. Yeah. Hey, Mine man, was, though, when he brothers, backed up. When he was, when he was like, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 Corny ass joke, tap his joke, and then Will gets up because yeah. he's narrating it. And what are he getting up? Oh! No! That's a skit! That's a skit! Hey, man, because how many people said that's a skit? Everybody. Uh, I yeah. did. Yeah. I said, yo, that's, that's a, a skit. skit. And I went and I paused it, and I seen them Denzel tears, them glory tears in Chris Rock's eyes, and a little redness on his black <laughs> cheek. And I was like, no. Will just hit him, man. And then it took him a minute to gather himself. He was like, "Oh, Will Smith just slapped me at the house." Hey, bro, when you say uh, people ask you, like, I won't even entertain it. But if that happened to you, you was like, I would never slap Chris Rock at the house. <laughs> 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 then you was like, because that other thing, oh, you're that's like, not a concept. Yeah, that's nobody. Th that's just my my family. Hey, dude, I love when you say your nephews would be around Jaden. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, it is a genius. Thank you, man. Genius Good. piece of work, bro. Thank you, my brother. And the crazy thing about it is you you, you know, you didn't baby glove a lot of the situations. No. But when you look at it, it was all wrapped in love. Mm -hmm. It is because like, it was made with love. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and people can grab it and put out, you know, the clickbaits and this, that, and the other. But if you sit down and you watch it, when you sum it up at the end, bro. You know what? Like when that shit happened, man, the reason why I'm doing like a set about it. Is because I think in stand up, man, it gotta come from something personal. And that shit was personal to me because I know the three of them so well. Mm -hmm. And I was hurt when I saw that happen because I love all the parties involved. I'm a, I'm a black man, I'm a black actor, I'm a black comedian. So it felt like watching Will slap Chris, like I slapped myself on that stage. Hey man, when you wrapped that up and you gave it to Jada, you gave it to mm -hmm. Chris, oh, yeah. you gave it to Will, you know, so at no point. When you say, man, they can't watch this and really be upset. No, because they right. get to laugh at each other and laugh at the situation, pull themselves out the situation, and I'm an equal opportunity <laughs> offender. Everybody yes. got it, but you know who got it the worst? Me. I was a character in a journey that was looking for an elixir. I wanted fame. Right. I wanted success. Right. I wanted, there was elixirs that I wanted in the, like in a movie. I wanted love. Mm -hmm. And all three of those things failed me. But I got the elixir because God loving me, I know that none of those things were for me. That this whole thing, God's timing is divine. Mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to make it when I when I when I was trying to make it back then. You gotta work for your moment. God's like, this is your time, right? I got calls from my big brother Bentley Evans. Oh, yes, uh, sir. I got calls from a lot of great comedians, you know, Mark Marin and who hates everything, even me. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Mike Binder, you know, Martin Lawrence. I got calls about how beautiful it was, it was and how great, great work, it was. Bro. And to hear that, and even my brothers, how to, my sister, who's one of my biggest critics, was like, Naz, that was 97% perfect. Right. Right. You know, and I and, and that's great for Kim because she's usually oh, yeah. like, you had a 52. <laughs> you know, but she was but for me, 
It's like, and I, me and Bentley was talking last night. Bentley produced Martin mm -hmm. uh, TV show, and he's a, a writer in Hollywood. And I've known Bentley since I'm going to get you suckers, you know, that long, since uh, sucker days. He was like, me and you always talk about, you've been around for 30 years, and you never had a hot moment. Mm. I said, I have never had a hot moment. I've never been one of the top 10 guys that you get script to. I never been one of the top 10 guys that works with the best directors. Mm. I never been one of those guys that you offer, "Hey, let's put this guy with that guy in this movie." I've always been the guy writing, producing and creating my own thing, right. creating my own opportunity without the engine of Hollywood. Hollywood hasn't bet on me yet. I've bet on me. I've gone, okay, and I've created. I had to do the work. I had to yeah, learn to produce. When we talk about your great bodies of work, it's yours. Mhm. Mm I wrote them I, yeah. with my brothers. Yeah. You know, a lot of them. And then a lot of them I've done on my own because of necessity. If I didn't do it, my brother Keenan said, you got to be a force of nature. And that's what I try to become over time. And that's why I started doing stand up because I was like, I've been a star for 20, for 20 years. If I'm going to make superstardom, I got to go do stand up. I got to do something different. And so Amen. I added stand up comedy to it because now I'm a complete artist, right? But. Bentley was talking. He was like, yo, you never had a hot moment. I never thought about that. And then he said, man, this special here. He said, little brother, you mm -hmm. about to have a hot moment. Hey, dude, that's Because you showed me mm -hmm. something that we ain't seen. That special is special, bro. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm telling you, like I say, it was wrapped in love. I thought it was geniusly done. And it was everything. It, it was like a life roller coaster. Right. It was like, man, it's so smart. It's so loving. It's emotional and it's ignorant. It was yes. everything. You didn't know where yeah. it was going. Like <laughs> I told y'all, the even first the, ten the, minutes, the, even the moments where you was like, "Yeah," then you just come back, and I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> Hey man, when you went, and, oh, I can't. I just like, like for dude, me, watch, hey, dude, there were the so one many. Part when he was like it, uh, the on site, oh, I don't want to yeah. give it all away. The curtain. What about this? You about to win? You about to win? The way he climbs up the stairs, hey, like physically. Oh, you know so what that was? Bro. That was that animation. I was a human, like a. It was like a, a human cartoon. That yeah, was like man. Bugs Bunny yeah. or The Mask. I was like, nobody yeah, else can do this because no one else in, in comedy is this healthy, too. Because <laughs> it was times Hilarious. when you would fall back with the, with the, with the uh, stool, and then you'll do that Marlon Wayans leg thing and get right back up. I'm like, and when you, with the audience thing, when you, I was like, how's he going to get back on stage? Yeah. Man, genius, bro. Thank you, my brother. Genius. You, you, man, Thank God you. Loves Me is an amazing piece of work, I, I, bro. I appreciate you, man. Hey, Thank man. You. And you and Jada, y'all have known each other. You say you were 19? 19, to eight, 17. Eight, eight. I known Jada since I was in college. I was 18. I met mm -hmm. her backstage in Living Color. Really, though? Yeah, we just became like like best friends. Hey, like, man. We used to call each other every night. We sometimes fall asleep on the phone and we used to talk about, you know, people we was dating. And she taught me so much about like love. She yeah, was and so you put smart. that in yes. there, bro. Yes. You, you, you know what because I'm saying? Because I, 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 I joked, what but I, I honored. What her beauty? You put like, her I on the people, pedestal, yes, and I want you brought her off the pedestal. How great she is, yeah. But she's human, yeah. And his was funny. Uh, nobody was. Um, nobody Did you was really too big meet to Will hit. Smith like that at Jada's house? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Man, so these ain't just jokes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Did you see how hurt I was yeah. on, on the stool? Like he knew what he was doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the pain. That's the thing, right? Is the character. Marlon in the movie in the play <laughs> it, it was like a play it was like a movie yeah, it was man. like you enter the this 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 thing yeah, the first because... 10 minutes is the setup and it's a tick 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 yeah and then when you do the first god loves me Oh, it's a roller coaster. Man. And yeah, after that, bro. you're like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, wait. Ooh, and then it stops and you go, wait, ooh, ooh, yeah. we going backward? Oh, mm. and, and explain that you explain that very well, bro. Yeah. Like very well, man. And like I say, for those if you haven't had a chance to check it out, make sure you guys mm -hmm. check out Marlon Wayne's God Loves Me. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. Yeah, hey, dude. And it was crazy because last night I was re-watching it, right? And my wife came in because I was laughing so hard at him. <laughs> and then when I went upstairs, she was watching. Oh, how funny. <laughs> because I'm telling you, man, I was down, and especially I told you, I, keep, I, I kept rewinding parts. And when you do the sitting down with the black people, white people thing, bro, I lost it. Thank you, brother. And I already knew the material. Yeah. And it wasn't like I was going back right. No, I just kept watching. You know what it reminded me of, bro? 
and this is no joke, and this is not because you're here. It reminded me of the first time I saw Eddie Murphy in Delirious. Mm. It was like something that I was like, dude, I, I used to watch Delirious over and over and over. It's the greatest compliment I've ever had. I'm telling you, man. I was hitting Marlon last night. I was like, Marlon, this is genius, man. Thank you, brother. Like, this is genius, bro. So great work. Thank, Thank you, you for took, coming. Yeah. took me 40 years in this industry to come up wow. with that. took me 40 <laughs> years of writing, of acting, 40, 30 years of learning how to write, uh, 20, 10 years, of, 13 years of stand-up comedy, uh, and 50, uh, 20 years of producing. It's all of it came together for that moment. And what's beautiful about this is I wrote it in three months on mm -hmm. a stage. I never wrote anything down. I just had concepts in my head. And normally you tour material for two years. I toured it for three months, mm -hmm. and I shot it from March 27th. So we're talking about April. From April to August is when I shot it, August 7th in Atlanta. And it took me all this time to to set, cut it together, then sell it, and uh, or oh, wow. and then to have it licensed for, by HBO Max. And then to when you went to time. go do that, you didn't have the deal in place. No, you just knew you had something. I knew, and I had you something. had to do this. I wanted. I, I don't like sitting on material. I I knew. I knew I had something great, and I was like, I want to. I want to bet on me. I, if people don't want to bet on me, I'm going to bet on me. I I know what I can do at this point. You know, I'm at that place where I see what. People who bet on themselves, Tyler Perry bet on himself. You got a point. Yeah. You got to bet on yourself. I know what I am, and you have to put it in the universe, and you have to do the work and mean it. I've done the work, and once you do the work, and you're willing to continue to do the work because you never rest on your laurels, then you you bet on yourself. So I bet on myself. I knew this was great. I got my. In fact, I was working on a whole nother special mm -hmm. about my mom. That I, I love my mom. I said, I love you, Doug. I got to put you aside, Vira. Right. I got I got to get these <laughs> jokes. And she said, go ahead, baby. Yeah. And so I went and put this together. And then I'm I'm back to, and I, I know my next three specials. Like? You huh? know what I'm wow. saying? Because you, you lost your mom as well, right? Yeah, but yeah, see, I'm talking about the things for me. I talk about me. Mm -hmm. I don't, even though the, the, the slap was about to slap. It was really about how the slap affected me, which makes it personal to yeah. everybody else because it did yeah. affect everybody. And in then some you way. think about, yeah, in some way, because you think about like my relationship with Will. Will changed my life when we did the weight loss challenge and getting my health together. Wow. And, 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 you know, Chris Rock been down with me for many years. Yes. And then you've been waiting for these moments. You know, I was, dude, the reason why I saw that slap in real time, Marlon, is because I was watching to see Will Smith win. Yeah, you know what I, I, I don't, don't know how to feel what watch. he won. I, yeah. It was like he, yeah. slapped, he slapped so hard, the audience got slapped. They was like, "I'm gonna get up for you." I know what he did is wrong, but Tyler man. Perry did it. My man was like, every time they come out of commercial break, like, "Welcome back to the Oscars." Like, man, I went out that night. <laughs> oh yeah, and I, I I went out Oscar night, and it was funny because everybody was talking about it in pockets. And everybody's on Marlon, what do you think? I said, no, nah, I'm going I'm, to I'm do this on stage. I said, I'm not going to. You knew then. Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to talk about this. I want to talk about it on a stage in front of an audience. Because I'm not going to, you know, some people are sensitive. You know, I, I cracked a few jokes. I think I cracked jokes. And Tyler Perry was like, oh, it's inappropriate. And I was like, you, <laughs> you rich nigga. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and, and then, uh, you know, I, but I was like, you know, I was sitting with Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. And we was talking about it. And. They was like, we can't wait to hear what you got to say about it. I said, I'm going to show it to you. And then Gabby texted me after she saw it. And she said, brother, mm -hmm. she said, you laid that baby out. She yeah, left man. me a beautiful text. Her and Dwayne, they were just laughing. Hey, dude. Quoting and laughing. And, and, and Because, you know, we can be hard on each other, which is good. People aren't phony. If they don't like something, they ain't going to say nothing. Or they, my family going to be like, I ain't like that. Right. It feels good when you do something that people really like because that's what you do it for. You try to tell one joke that makes the whole world laugh. I want everybody to enjoy this, including, and most of all, Chris, Jada, and Will. Mm -hmm. Because a great joke, everybody, especially the people that you're making fun of, can laugh the loudest. I think this is a safe place. I think it's, um, um, for them, it's healing. I, mm -hmm. I would watch it, and I would laugh at it. And you know I, I'm here. I love I love you all, and I did it out of love because nobody, none of y'all could talk about it. Now, can we all come to the principal's office, and can we mediate this? Right. Can we fix this? Can we somehow, some way, put this back together? Because this is a blemish and a bruise on on us.
And we have to fix that. We have to teach our generations coming behind us yes, sir. that we know how to forgive and heal. Yeah. Other people can fight. I'll kill you, this and that. They scra- and the next day, oh, well, they're at lunch together. Right, right. Other they're, people do that. They're called the Rolling Stones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate you. I was about to call the white folks. But, yeah. but brothers, we have to learn to, to heal, right? Mm-hmm. To let things go. Yeah, it happened. Now, how do we get better from this? Let's go, let's go do some movies. Let's go do a tour. Let's go do, let's go do some workshops with some kids. Let's go, let's go, let's go donate some money somewhere so to, to, to violence and, and, and teaching kids to go to um, um, therapy and work on their mental health. Let's do something positive with this negative. Yeah. Man, I appreciate you, man. I thank you. I drove thank all the way you, back to, to, to have yeah. this conversation. I, I, know I love you, that. You said that a few times. I, I, I love that. <laughs> and I, I thought you had some dap for me. <laughs> right. Marlon Wayans, definitely want to thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Best believe, if you have not seen God Loves Me yet, HBO Max, treat yourself. Yes. Yeah, so and good. watch it. Come I'm see me live. You. Brea. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm at the Brea Improv. There's only one show left. I added a show for all y'all people. Sunday. Uh, second show. I don't know what time is that. Hey man, where does all this new material come from, though? Because because life. I'm 50. I got a lot of life to talk about. Because you just gave not gave away, but you just did a whole hour trimmed down to an hour. I know my next three specials. Okay. Because mm. you know how people say, man, it takes years to to write. Because they they're learning how to write. Yeah. I've been writing. I write movies. Mm-hmm. I know how to. Write beginning, middle, end, break down structure. I write parodies, which is the hardest movie to write. People want to sleep. A parody is the hardest movie to write because you still have to have a story. Yes. And everything has to be funny. The place, the location got to be funny. The description of the location got to be funny. The action that the character does got to be funny. The character got to be funny. His dialogue got to be funny. The close-up or the, the, the angle or the shot that you're cutting to, that got to be funny. There has to be 10 jokes on a page. Mm. So like I got got that's what I do, man. I I'm I'm my life has made me this. So I'm not tripping. Not only, man, do do we get a chance to check out the the actual, you know, uh God Loves Me, which is right there on HBO Max right now. <laughs> he tours around the country yeah. for those who don't know what's happening with him. You gotta go see Marlon Wayans live. We were talking about the sold out shows that's going down at Brea Improv, and you can also check it out Sunday night as well. I added but also, a show for the people. There it is. And what's going down April 1st, my brother? Is this a boba event? Center? Yes. Yeah, man. That's where I'm going to be. Um, Obo, well, say that right. <laughs> Soboba. 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 Event. Event. Center. Where is it? And what's that? Is it San Jacinto? I think it's close to San Diego. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to be there. Come bring your behind <laughs> right. and, and come get these laughs. And don't worry. I'm not a guy. I'm not going to do the God Loves Me set. I got a whole completely other set. So come watch this. Don't worry. I'm not repeating jokes. And I, I come fresh. Man, so you never do like a greatest hits? No. I heard that. No pun intended no, for the, if for the I God did, Loves Me. <laughs> if I did, I would still make that original. God, I wouldn't I do you. any of the stuff I did in stand-up. I give them some my characters that I did from some of my movies. Oh, and I, yeah. I would do that. That's what hey, that's man, a special I'm going to do. when you morphed into, uh, is it not Old Dog? What, what, when, Loke Dog. Yeah, yeah Loke Dog. When, when, when you, you morphed into mama? that real quick, <laughs> I was like, this brother, man, extremely talented, mm-hmm. man. Thank you, bro. And the call and response, too. Yeah. Because when you say that, it was like, there were times when I was, when you said that, you know, at approximately, like, when you would go back to that, the audience knew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when you said, when he sat down and you said, keep my wife's name, name out your you heard the audience go, motherfucking mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Marlon Wayans in the neighborhood, man. Big Boy reacts Big boy. to Marlon Wayans' new HBO special, God Loves Me, Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy.